This is where the light bulb was set up. It's broken off now. So the light source will come through here. This lens would then set the beam to focus through and then it will go through the aperture to reduce the intensity. In the setup I put the screw in there, put the light on that end and it went through as you've seen in the photo. Now in this particular apparatus the lens moves forward and back to get the focus and then there's the aperture here opens and closes it gets stuck on here as you can see this is not CNC machined this is not even home built this is the actual mechanism that came with that equipment so as you can see fairly primitive which leads me to think it's 60 years old from the 60s maybe the 50s so on your setup you don't need this so you have to have your light source to create a shadow depending on where that is set up depends how big it is how sharp it is how curved it is and all that so you can use a slide projector but with a slide projector where the light is to the lens it's really designed for the thickness of a slide so you couldn't put a half inch bolt in there let's say so you might be able to modify it but that's basically how a shadow graph works you have a light source subject the light hits the subject creates a shadow these lenses are supposed to straighten up the beam project it through and then you have your your card or your screen somewhere that you look at and focus on then you can draw whatever shape you want on the translucent material and that's where you check it so fairly simple to build fairly easy it's not a professional one but if you're grinding a radius on a tool you can have a proper radius drawn on the piece of paper and then you just put it up and you can see your high spots if you're honing go a little stone and you're honing the curve to get it better well it all helps it all helps and that's the shadow see the tooth profile if you've got any questions subscribe and they'll be answered and as always thanks for watching